So hi, I'm Bill Clinton Rigorgo and I'm here to discuss on how we can use GeoGebra in graphing trigonometric function. So first one, we should secure that we open a GeoGebra application and then first, we create assign values to A, B, C, and D and these numbers will be our slider to assign slider later. So to assign a number, type A is equal to 1 in the input bar then press enter followed by B is equal to 1 press enter C is equal to 1 press enter the last is D is equal to 1 then press enter so next to create a slider of A, B, C, and D right click each one of them in algebra view and click show object from the context menu so next one is b c last is d so before grabbing the functions change the intervals of the x axis from 1 to 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 pi over 2 so to do this Right click any blank space on the graphics view and click on graphics that 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 from the context menu to display the settings dialog box. In the settings, select the graphics section, click the x axis tab, check the distance checkbox, select pi over 2 from the distance drop down list box and then close the dialog box now to grab the sign function type f of x is equal to a times sign open parenthesis b times x minus c close parenthesis plus d in the input bar then press the enter key so in geogebra the asterisk symbol stands for multiplication second one to grab the sine and tangent function type g of x is equal to a times cosine open parenthesis b times x minus c close parenthesis plus d <coughs> then press enter second one type h of x is equal to a times tangent open parenthesis b times x minus c close parenthesis plus d then press enter so next one we're going to move the sliders a Next is B, C, last is D. So, what do you observe? So, as you can see, as we move the sliders, the graph also moves. And the values of A, B, and C, and D also change. And that's the end of my tutorial. I hope you'll understand and learn something. Thank you and goodbye.